And the images of the fire at Notre Dame have rattled people across the globe, including here in Rhode Island. Tonight, we spoke with those who have special connections to this cathedral and have hopes that one day it will rise again. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live in studio and has that story now. New tonight. Kim? While many questions remain about Notre Dame, what caused the fire and what does the future hold in store? But until those questions are answered, those we spoke with say they're just trying to deal with the heartache of what unfolded in France. A celebration of mass in Providence. While 3,500 miles away, the start of Holy Week marked by mourning in Paris. It's a tragic loss for the people of, of France and Paris, and I think for the whole Catholic world. I felt like I was, you know, already going into mourning in the middle of it. Providence College art history professor Joan Branham stunned by the images coming out of France on Monday. She had just visited Notre Dame earlier this year. It is prominent. Everyone sees Notre Dame. It is probably the most recognizable monument there. Truly the heart of Paris. This is a heart attack that's taking place right now. Bob Burke of Pot au Feu began his love affair with France as a child, his first trip to Notre Dame at age 12. Je suis désolé, and the closest thing we have in English is I am brokenhearted. Now the world awaits news of what can and cannot be salvaged from the iconic structure, hopeful that it will rise again. Notre Dame is not going to go away because of the fire. It's, it's too important a building, it's too great a place. Uh, for us to ever believe that it will cease to exist. And you might remember back in 1982, a fire consumed a Notre Dame church much closer to home, the Notre Dame church in Fall River. That fire ignited by construction workers, a similar cause may be to blame in Paris. I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.